Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Today we are going to talk about how to properly back up your Mac devices. Now, full disclosure, I am a PC person as you can see, always have been, probably always will be, but you might not be, or maybe your family members are not, like my wife is a Mac user, and your Mac users might have critical data stored on their Mac devices, and we need to make sure that they are backed up uh, uh, regularly now, we are going to do it on Mac devices using the Time Machine application built in onto every Mac. We have a few prerequisites to prepare on the Synology side. We'll see how to do them and then we'll jump over to the Mac and see how to attach Time Machine to our Synology device. The first thing that we are going to need to do is go to Control Panel and create a shared folder. Now we are going to create this shared folder with a quota in order to not let Time Machine consume our entire storage space over, over time. So let's name it Time Machine. Click on Next. We are not going to encrypt the folder on the Synology side. We are going to encrypt it over at the Mac side before the data leaves our Mac. We are going to create a quota of, let's say, just for the sake of this uh, demo, 200 gigabytes or 300 gigabytes. Click on next and actually we're going to click next throughout this uh, 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 wizard. The next thing that we need to do is to create a user account. Now my primary NAS is joined to an Active Directory domain. So over on the Mac side when we need to authenticate I could use mine or my wife's Active Directory account but if you're not attached or joined to an Active Directory domain you need to create a local user. So let's create one. Let's click on create. And let's name it, just for the sake of this uh, uh, demo, let's call the user demo and give it a password. Now, we need to assign this user account full permissions on the new shared folder that we created. So let's find Time Machine folder and give it read and write. And actually, we don't need to do anything else other than that. Click on next and done. Now we need to go into file services and make sure we have the following things configured. First is enabling SNB. Now in regards to uh, the service it, mu it must be enabled. My recommendation is to go to advanced settings and make sure that maximum is three but the minimum is one because SMB, uh, sorry, the minimum SMB protocol is 2, version 2, because SMB version 1 is not very secure. So let's make sure these are uh, your uh, um, settings right here. Let's click on macOS and make sure enable VFS module convert Mac special characters. This is a long one, but make sure it's enabled. Click on save. Let's jump over to, uh, sorry, to the advanced uh, tab right here. Make sure F uh, f file fast clone is enabled and also make sure to enable bonjour time machine broadcast via SNB and also click on set time machine folders and select your time machine folder. Click on yes and actually we are done on our Synology side of things. All we have left to do is to jump over to our Mac device and start configuring the Mac side. So let's flip over and see what to do over at the Mac. All right, guys. So we are on our Mac device. And the first thing we need to do in order to familiarize our Mac with our Synology device is, uh, first of all, to make sure that you're connected to your uh, network, uh, Wi-Fi or cable. In this case, it doesn't really matter. And let's go connect to server. And what we will need to do is either know our DNS name, host name, or IP address. In this case, just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to use the device IP address. So make note of that. And we need to use the prefix SMB in order to make the connection. Let's click on connect. And now we are prompted for our user account. So Let's type the username that we've created. It's demo and the password. 
I'm going to keep on remember this password. Actually, I'm not going to keep it because this user is going to be deleted, but you can. And click connect. Let's click on Time Machine and now we have a connection made via SMB from our Mac to our uh, Synology NAS. At this point, we can close this window and go to System Preferences and Time Machine. We are going to select Backup Disk and as you can see now, we have uh, to choose from, uh, uh, options to choose from, we are going to click on Time Machine and Encrypt Backups. As you remember, we, we did not enable encryption on the folder itself. We want to encrypt it even before it leaves our Mac. So we are going to click on Use Disk. Again, let's authenticate. We are going to, uh, we are prompted to select a password for our uh, backups. At this point, our time machine has been attached to our uh, Synology device and we can start backing up. I am going to show the time machine in the menu bar just because it's uh, easier and more convenient. It, on the options uh, uh, button, you can, if you choose to, select folders to exclude from backup. For example, I'm going to exclude the desktop just as a uh, just to show the, uh, the functionality, I'm going to uh, uh, exclude, I don't know, documents. That's great. And now what we can do is actually start backing up by, select, by clicking on backup now. Now, uh, it depends of course on the amount of data you have to backup. This might take a while. But eventually uh, the backup will be finished and once the backup is finished, you can click on enter time machine, select your versions and revert back or restore deleted files as if it was a regular time machine uh, uh, backup to a, a, an Apple airport or to an external drive. It's just using SMB protocol to backup to our Synology device that is completely compatible with time machine. Alright guys, so actually this is how easy it is to backup Mac devices to our Synology NAS device and if you like this video, if it was helpful to you, give me a like, it will really help me with the YouTube algorithm and of course I will see you all in the next video, join me guys, bye bye!